Hello everyone and welcome to the Mayor's Corner. Today I have a special guest. I always have a special guest. Um, I initially was planning on updating everyone because we're going to be headed towards our workshop, budget workshop. So I will bring that at our next meeting, uh, our next Mayor's Corner, just to update you on what we're doing with uh, our budget. Uh, this budget cycle is going to be a little challenging, but I know we're up to that challenge and we're going to work our best for our taxpayers. Um, today I have a special guest, Mr. Miguel Chapa. <laughs> Welcome. Thank He's you. He's new to the family, to the city, to the city employees. Um, uh, you want to introduce yourself yes, and yes. tell them a little bit of what you're doing? So uh, I'm Miguel Chapa. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be working with the city of Alice. Um, I'm blessed to be working with the uh, Parks Department. Uh, actually, I was uh, able to um, get hired on as the Director of Parks. Um, a lot of exciting things going on. Um, got hired on in the middle of uh, Little League Baseball season. Uh, we got through that. Um, now we're tackling all the rain issues that are going on. Yes. High grass, <laughs> a lot of high grass here and there, but um, we are taking it one day at a time. You know, we are getting utilizing our guys to mow and, and um, do a little bit of weed spraying throughout the city and stuff like that. So just, you know, day-to-day -day things. So we're excited to be here. And, you know, it's, it's um, very challenging, your yes. department, uh, because we have limited resources, equipment. Our employees do the best they can. I've witnessed that. They work hard. Um, Anderson Park looks amazing. Thank and you. The pavilion has improved 110%. I really appreciate all the efforts that our employees put there. Uh, there's, you know, the, the lamps are clean. There's no nest in there. The, uh, the parks, the, tr the trees are trimmed. They looks really nice. And Thank I you. know a lot of our citizens utilize Anderson Park. Yes, ma'am. Along with the other parks, but I know that's one of the most utilized uh, within our community. And Lake Finley. Yes. I really appreciate that. That's come a long ways. I know as the water has dried or with the drought that we've had in the past during, you know, the beginning of summer, it was, you know, you're having to manage that. But Yes, ma'am. But yeah, now so with the growth, what's going on? We're just, you know, just we've had a lot of rain. So we had um, the little hurricane that kind of skidded through here um, about a month ago and then and then Brett, was that last one or what was it? Burl. Burl, I'm sorry. Burl. Burl skidded by and dumped a little bit more rain on us, and we've had rain every other day, it seems like. And, mm -hmm. and, and you know, we've got to pull out of areas and to not get stuck with the, with our tractors and stuff like that. But, but yes, getting back to Anderson Park, you are right. That's the crown jewel of the city, I, I feel. You mm -hmm. know, we've got uh, Eastfield, uh, Mora Field, where soccer goes on and... and mm -hmm. And the East Field, I know the youth football is starting to utilize that area mm -hmm. also. So we've gotten some of the ants out of there. We try to keep it mowed. We've weed sprayed uh, the edges mm -hmm. of it. And, mm -hmm. and we just try to keep it mowed and looking nice for, for the citizens in the community to utilize those areas. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're excited about the what's going on at Anderson Park. Mm -hmm. And Lake Finley also is getting some beneficial rain as well with oh, all gosh. this rain. We need it. <laughs> that, that, that's going to get put into the reservoir there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been mowing the levees in those areas. So a lot of things going on. But, yes, a lot of the credit goes to the guys. We've, we've got a great group of guys that, that uh, make the park department what it is. and uh, They're amazing. They are amazing, yes. They're amazing. I mean, it's hot out there. Yes. They work out in the elements. I know you try to start early in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so that they're out before it gets... You know, but they're still out there during yeah. the heat. And so we start at seven in the morning. It's 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 uh, great that you uh, uh, recognize that uh, seven in the morning. You know, try to uh, to take uh, you know start early to when it's cooler, so the guys mm -hmm. can start their 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 areas, and um, they just work all day long. You know, they take a thirty minute lunch and continue with their day and and get as much done for the citizens and the community uh, as they can throughout every day, every week. And it's very, I mean, we do all the right-of-ways, we do all our parks, we do um, just, it's a big area. Yes, so so yes, uh, Director Parks is, is, is 
called also open spaces, which uh, there's a lot of open spaces. Like you said, the easements, the right-of-ways, the drain ditches, mm -hmm. uh, Lattice Creek, Pintas Creek, San Diego Creek. Mm -hmm. Those are big, long areas that have to get, you know, maintained mm -hmm. on, on, a, on a weekly basis. Uh, with this rain, it seems like we have to do it uh, daily. <laughs> but, but we're yeah. keeping up with it. The one thing that I know that um, throughout our city, you know, when we're doing our right-of-ways, we're doing those easements, mm -hmm. you know, there's sometimes illegal dumping that happens. Mm -hmm. It becomes cumbersome because then we have to stop what we're doing. We can't just do a straight cut and now we have to move those things, you know, because we don't want to shred them up right. and make more of a mess. Um, so we just ask people if you see someone dumping let us know please yes cause let it, us know it damages our equipment if we don't see it especially right now with the high grass mm -hmm. you can hit a tire you break some blades you you break a gearbox so yes if, if, if yes if the citizens were to see that please report it uh, so we, we no illegal dumping it, it just it's, it's bad for the city it's bad for our equipment and it slows us down yeah. also and we do have um, where if you do have uh, city services, the water department, you take your water bill with you um, if you have the means to, to take uh, whatever trash or something, it's free of charge. I don't know if it's once or... I think it, it is once, it, it is month, yeah. Um, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'm but, not exactly sure either, but yeah. I know they do get one uh, with, with yeah. their water bill. Yes, ma'am, that's right. So, I mean... If you can, I understand sometimes things are hard or difficult, but, you know, just to keep our, our city clean and, and safe, because that also creates hazards with rodents and, yep. you know, where snakes can hide. And so it, it's, it's a health hazard and a safety issue. So we ask you, please, if you see someone, um, let us know, because we want to try to mitigate all that. That's correct, yes. Uh, call here to City Hall, call to the Codes Department, uh, but report uh, any of that stuff. Yeah, we want to keep the city as clean as possible and our, 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 our areas clean. Yes, ma'am. The number to City Hall is 361-668-7210, and then it'll, it'll route you to a recording to prompts, you know, one for whatever the departments are, and just press the codes department. Yes, correct. So we'd appreciate that. I, I did want to, I, I caught him off guard because <laughs> I was going to update you on budget, um, but it is coming up. So I just wanted to, um, next, next mayor's corner, I'll update you on how we're coming along with our budget. And um, thank you so much, and yes. welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm very happy to be well, here. We're, we're glad to have you. We, you've done a lot in the few weeks you've been here, so thank you so much. And I know you're still learning, but if you see him out there, you see our guys out there, tell them hi and thank you for what they do. Um, they really do work hard on your behalf, um, and we try to do our best. So y'all have a... a blessed rest of the summer school's gonna be starting soon so yes it's prepare for school clothes schools <laughs> there's gonna be some um actually some school bash um school supply like drive throughs okay. throughout our community watch facebook uh, be on the lookout for that there's some community events happening so y'all stay safe it's still we're still in hurricane season look at our preparedness we have some um, guidelines or checklists within our um, website so that way uh, if you want to look at those how to prepare they're out there and thank you so much for tuning in thank you for coming at yes, the last minute thank you for just, having me yes, yes and welcome again yes. mr chapa and he's available do you have a number where they can contact you i do have it um uh, it's through that same directory that you listed mm -hmm. earlier it'll list us over to the parks and recreation and jennifer will answer that so there you it's go. through the mm -hmm. it's through that directory okay thank you uh -huh. and and we'll talk soon see you next month thank you thank you